and especially bulk area and the Balkans. Our first contest of the evening is an under 75 kilogram full contact fight. That's K1 rules for those uninitiated with KWU rules. We have Albert Krauss, K1 legend refereeing, and I'm joined here on the commentary desk by, should we say arguably, the greatest heavyweight kickboxer of all time, Mr. Perfect, Ernesto Hoost. Welcome back, Ernesto. Thank you. Your words, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, my words, but I'm sure millions of people's thoughts. Okay. Absolute legend, a yes. living legend, sat right next to me. Mm. So here we go, our first contest of the evening. And we have oh, Mikhail Velchowski fighting out of the blue corner. He's a local favorite from Bulgaria. He's tough as old boots. He's had three fights here at Senchi. He lost his first fight at Senchi yeah. 16. However, he's such a tough cookie. He yeah. fought so well, they invited him back. And he's since won his further two fights on this platform. He's fighting James Condy from France. Yep. He's making his debut here at Century 21, yep. but he's a K1 champion and an ISKA European champion. And he's very smart. He's very smart. He's standing south pole. And um, uh, maybe I told it bef this before, uh, when you're a south pole, you have a big advantage in making the left low kick to the right leg. He already did it three times, and uh, he hit three times. The so inside kick? The, no, the outside. Right. On the on the right on the right on the right leg. Yeah, he there goes we go. again. Okay. This is the fourth the fourth time already. And so uh, if you if you are able to to hit so much, then you have a big advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, your opponent might uh, might get weakened on the leg. He, so he haven't he hasn't defended one. Uh, low kick yet. Yeah, it, it, you, people are unfamiliar with checking a kick to that mm -hmm. rear leg. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you, then you I saw, yeah, no. You feel like it's out of range it, with your opponent. But as you say, if uh, he hasn't got a switch, if he's fighting in that southpaw stance. Exactly. Um, and actually, it's one of your favorite techniques was uh, and the timing and getting well, that distance to that rear leg. Well, that's what I did. I learned it from Andy Hook, who did it with me because he was also a lefty. And kicking me with 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 left to my to my right leg all the time, and um, sort I, wasn't, I wasn't hurt by it, but then I just tried it myself and I saw that that it works. Mm. And he's this is what he do, what he does all the time. And his opponent, he's not used to it. He hasn't blocked one one low kick yet, so it's it's a big advantage. It, it will not say that he's gonna win, but. Yeah, it's he's definitely going to slow the Bulgarian yeah, down. Slow, slow, slowing him down and, uh, and and making his points. Two nice inside kicks yes, there from Mikhail. Kick. Yeah, very good. But the Frenchman Conde, he's long and rangy. Mm -hmm. He's got an eight centimeter reach advantage, yeah. and it, that's ideal for landing that rear low kick as, exactly. you, as you picked up on. Exactly. Exactly. And he moves very easily uh, through the ring, stepping in, stepping out. It's no problem for him. The Bulgarian is landing shot, power shots there, but nothing really on target. Not on target yet. And I wonder when he's going to feel the, the right leg. And when, the, when a round finishes, if you've had your leg kicked, he must have taken 10 quite yeah. heavy shots there to that yeah. right thigh. Uh -huh. They're not landing on the outside of the thigh, it's more on the front because of the angle exactly. of the kick when it comes yeah. in. So in between a round, uh -huh. if you've taken that much punishment, mm -hmm. is the leg getting worse or can it recover in between the rounds? In between the rounds, I don't think so. It, it will not recover and, and his corner doesn't put ice on it or something to make it... Uh, There's no uh, massage going on, no, yeah. no ice. And I understand that because they're not used to it. They are not used to a South Pole fighter. Mm. And being a South Pole is such a big advantage. Like I say, when I fought with Andy Hook yep. in, in 17, in, no, sorry, no, 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 in 96, <laughs> <laughs> not, that, not that long ago, <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> in 96, uh, he caught me a few times with it. When I defended it hard one time, he didn't kick me anymore. But then I started mm. to realize it's very difficult to defend that, that low kick. Because it's so unfamiliar. Yeah. yeah, so unfamiliar, exactly. And you killed Jerome Labana with it. 
I remember. Oh, not with the, not with a low kick, but uh, <laughs> well, that rear low kick, uh, you, you set him up uh, nicely with it. Well, yeah. not, ju not just Jerome Lebeau, but that, that, that uh, yeah. he comes to mind. Mm -hmm. So back to the fight, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Nice defense there and head movement from the Frenchman. Yeah, he's a tricky character. Yeah, well, they both are. They both do uh, make making good moves. Uh, Switching to the inside of the lead yeah. leg. Yeah. Nice double up there. Yeah. Now you can you can really see that he knows that it's a, a big advantage. Because if your opponent don't defend the low kicks, is if he's not going down, it's slowing him down anyway. Yeah, they've got anyone who's never taken a low kick does not understand the. Um, Look, <laughs> yeah, you, you can see, yeah, and there it is again. You can see, you can see the the, the marks on his leg already. Mm. And it's clearly, as you said, part yeah. of his game plan. Yeah, it is. It He's is. done his research, and that's what a professional fighter should do. Yeah, exactly. And uh, also, what 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 I what what I also uh, know is that, for example, if he would give a right hook, because we are used to get a right hook from behind, but not from the front. The same thing, basically. Right. And if you, that's what I started to do. But it's difficult. But he's, yeah. For sorry. for uh, for uh, Velchowski, mm -hmm. I mean, it's easier for him to uh, lead rather with a jab to set something up, throw a right hand, yeah, and then a left hook, low kick. But easy to say from out here. And it was interesting well, just now, Conde. Yeah. Um, Velchowski went to step in, uh -huh. and Conde just threw out a front a front kick and stopped him in his tracks. Exactly. Very yeah. clever. Very clever. But what is also the the thing, and that is, uh, this happened in my first, very first fight as a. As as an 18-year-old guy, uh, the moment he makes a low kick, he drops his left hand. That's what happened to me also. Uh -huh. To my that opponent. That's a big overhand right oh, from Belchowski. Great. Yep. Yeah, great move. They're both doing good. So what you're saying there about dropping that hand, now the corner should pick up on these things. In between they the should. rounds, inform yeah. tell or, or double up and make sure you, your fighters pick it up on these points. Exactly, exactly. But what I did, I, I knocked my opponent out because most of the time you drop your hand from the side where you kick with. So my opponent gave me a left kick to my right leg. And that moment I saw no defense and I hit, knocked him out. Yeah. But that, that is the weak point of, of it. But no, not everybody knows this, you know. Well, but it's interesting to see. Uh, and he can, take, uh, he can take a lot of kicks. And he's... Well, Velchowski coming back strong yeah, at the end of that round. Coming back strong. And uh, I, I, if I was to look at what's happening, he, mm -hmm. there was a low kick that landed, and mm -hmm. he stepped back and showed the pain. He, there was a first time in the fight that I think he's actually felt it, gi given it away, yeah. <laughs> that those kicks are having such an effect. Yeah. But maybe that's fired him up. He's got one round left. Can he withstand uh, the pain? You can see the damage on that right thigh. Yeah, for sure. If that's going to fire him up, he's got one round. Yeah. To, to do the job. He got one round to do the job, and uh, hopefully for him, uh, it's not a round that's uh, going to break his uh, leg for him. You see that flying knee there in the replay? Yeah, nice. Um, it wasn't fully committed. Maybe no. if it was, that might have been a different mm. story. Yeah. Second out. So it's been a busy fight for both guys. Yeah, it's an interesting uh, match. Yeah. Now, the Frenchman's accumulative effect is taking its toll yeah. on Velchowski's rear right leg mm -hmm. but the I would say the power shots the power punches are coming yes. from Velchowski but yeah. he hasn't landed on, sure. on the button yet no no so both of them well conditioned they're coming out into this final round oh. down one now two Albert Kraus three Says that was a knockdown. Five, six, and Velchowski not not arguing eight. with him, so he's taking a standing eight count. He's stepping forward. Albert Kraus going to let the fight carry on. I think that's a correct decision, of yeah. course. Yeah. Now that could fire him up even more. Nice left hand from the Frenchman. He's going all guns blazing now. They're in the middle of the ring trading. The Frenchman smells blood. Yeah. Now nice punches. Yeah. Yeah, he knows he knows what to do. And but he's showing his experience and not exactly, rushing in. Exactly. 
and the Bulgarian, it looks like he doesn't know exactly what to do now. He's doubting. Well, so he must be hurt. We're coming up to one minute left of this fight. The third round, he's throwing yeah. a big haymaker there, hoping it's going to land. Yeah. And again. Yeah. Yeah, the Frenchman countering very good. Um, staying very composed and relaxed. But if this, yeah, sorry. No, I was going to say, if, if the Frenchman just had 10% more power... Yeah, maybe, but, but but still, I mean, the Bulgarian he he can take so he he can take a punch. Yeah, and and, Absolutely. and he's a fighter. He's a fighter. You can see it on his face. He want he want to, he want to fight, and pain or no pain, he's fighting. Well, talking about tough, he took some punch, two punches there. He, he did, and a knee to the body. The French kickboxer here, James Conde, very classy with his technique. Crossy and clever. He came in with a game oh. plan. Nice right hand. Yeah. And he's got that sort of twisting screw punch that's exactly half of an uppercut. Yeah. But Felczowski can take a punch. That's that's for sure. Well, I'll say one thing about the Balkan fighters. They're all tough cookies. Yeah, that's true. Um, You're right about that. Seem to breathe them that, that way out here. Yeah. No, it's, it's a nice fight, it's an interesting fight. Uh, and, and yeah, you see the, the southpaw against the orthodox. And, and an orthodox is less used to a southpaw than the other way around. And that's what you also see now. And well, the fight's over three rounds and I don't think there's going to be any argument with the decision. I don't think so. But that was a that was a very nice way. Yeah. Great kickboxing there to start the evening here at Century 21. Yeah. Mikhail Velchovsky is going to wait disappointed. As I say, he lost his first fight here at Century 16, came back, won again on the next two Centuries. Keep your gloves on. But today, he's come off second best, and you can see he looks disappointed. But actually... Yeah. James Condy, the Frenchman, they, that camp did their homework and came in with the ideal game plan. Yeah, exactly. And, and he used his abilities. He used the fact that he's a lefty. And it would have been interesting if somebody comes in with that game plan, yes. if Velchowski mm -hmm. had also done his homework and, yes. and been able to check that rear kick uh -huh. and block it stiffly and yeah. put him off throwing it, the whole it would have been a completely different game, completely different game. Yeah. Yeah. because the, the, the other thing is when you make the left, you drop your left hand, so you're open for a right, for a straight. Yeah, I mean, that's how I won my first fight. Um, with my opponent trying to hit my, my rear leg, but I didn't see a, 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 a defense and, and I hit him and I knocked him out. It was, I want. I don't want to say luck, but it was not. I didn't think about it. That the thinking about it came ten years later yeah, when well, I realized what I, what I was doing. That's what they say, you know. You, experience is something. You, you yeah. take the test before the lessons. Sometimes <laughs> you do, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So the judges' scorecards there getting handed to the referee, but up uh, to uh, at the MC there. And we have an official score by from Albert Kraus. Judge one, twenty-six to thirty. Judge two, 27 to 30, and Judge three, 28 to 30 for a unanimous decision in the red corner, James Conde. Well, the Frenchman gets it as we expected. Yeah. Some strange scores there, because there was a knockdown. Mm -hmm. Belchowski took a count, which yeah. should have made one of the rounds yeah. a 10-8. Yeah, um, I think so too. But, uh, I was never great at maths. What did <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Let, let's not argue over the uh, yeah. finer details, but uh, I might bring it up later. Exactly. So that was a great win for yeah. James Condy from France, making his debut here at Century 21. And for anyone just tuning in or new to Century, yes, James Condy goes home with a belt. That's not because he's won a title, but that's because Senchi, we treat every single winner like a champion here. Yeah. And actually the quality of those belts and trophies is outstanding.
Yeah, it, it, it makes me think about the K1 days when we also got a trophy like that uh, as a winner. I have so many of those trophies at my house. Yeah. I almost had to buy a bigger house to... Uh, to <laughs> <laughs> well, that says something. So many trophies, you had to get a, 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 second, a second house. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Yeah.